Hi friend, I'm just back from the short trip and getting ready for the next one, so this could be a nice chance to talk about essential gear for my mobile software development setup. Often we are moving out from the city in the middle of the week to work for a few days and spend weekend in some Airbnb on seaside or just in another city. Last week we had extended weekend and I spent one and a half day working from rented cottage. Sure, I could do all the work just from laptop, but that is not comfortable and effective way to get the work done. In my last trip to Portugal, I tried to travel light and work from laptop only and I regret my decision. My neck and back wasn't happy at all after working long hours. For the last few years, I'm using Peak Design 30 liters everyday backpack for all my trips. I can fit in it my programming essentials, camera gear and all the clothes that I need for a weekend or longer trip. I like that I can fit everything in this bag, but also at the same time it is not too big to take it for a high car just to go out and work from coffee shop. The bag has all around protection to keep your gear safe and it is its strength and weakness at the same time. Protection adds a bit to its weight and it is close to 2 kilograms. My main working machine is 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook. It has enough power to get all the work done and it is even powerful enough to edit all my photos, videos and handle live streams when I do those on YouTube or on Twitch. Headphones are next to the laptop in my priority list. I do not like to work without headphones and it is not really comfortable to do that without them in public places or even at home if you are not living alone. My headphones of choice are Sony MX4, Sony MX5 or AirPods Max could be a good alternative if you do not care about headphone size. I'm sticking with MX4 because they fold in very compact size case for traveling. Programming doesn't going well without coffee, seriously. <laughs> I'm traveling with coffee grinder and aeropress to be able to make coffee. If we traveling by car and weight is not problem, I'm packing Chemex and coffee beans as well. Coffee in hotels usually is horribly bad, in Airbnb places situation can be better, but I'm checking what they have in advance. iPad is useful as secondary screen for the MacBook, but also I like to use native apps in iPadOS. After Apple introduced a continuity feature and keyboard and mouse sharing between Mac and iPad, I use that even more. Sure, I can do all the work from Mac, but for admin work or just content consuming in couch, I usually picking iPad because it's just uh, more handy than mug. If it is possible, I'm trying to have external keyboard and mouse to have relatively ergonomic workspace. For this trip, I choose Nufi Air Keyboard. That is good compromise keyboard comparing between light and small but not so comfortable Logitech Key 380 and more comfortable but much more heavy regular mechanical keyboards. I'm using MX vertical mouse for day-to-day -day work. It is not much bigger than my second mouse, MX Master S2, and even a bit lighter, so I'm packing it for my trips now. Last but not least in my must-have list is laptop stand. It is relatively low in priorities because usually in Airbnbs you can find books and make stand from them, but if I know that I will work for extended period of time, I'm packing laptop stand as well. There are plenty of them in the market. I bought my next stand at least five years ago and using it since then. Following items are not must have, but it is really comfortable and helpful to have them. So external drives, for example. External drive is not must for development, but it is nice to have additional space for media files. As we can see from prices, Apple internal SSDs are from pure gold or something, I don't know. So I'm using external SSD to dump photos and videos during the trips. We got many ports back in latest MacBooks, so it is not critical for me to have a USB hub, but I still have a small one in my backpack. It gives me additional video output ports, faster SD card reader and USB-A port. My travel tripod is double purpose device. Most of my apps are developed for iPhone first, so I'm using my iPhone for tests and it is handy to have a stand for it. And it can be tripod for iPhone or even my big camera when I'm switching to vacation mode. 
One more multipurpose device in my backpack is LED light. Sure, I'm using it for video content first, but it is very handy to have bright and portable light with you just to add more light to your video calls or use it as a flashlight. Also, this can be used as power bank. Cables and chargers for sure are necessary to have, but I have nothing fancy here, just laptop and iPhone chargers and some USB-C cables to charge all the other gear. I like that Peak Design backpack has side pockets for cables and other stuff, so I do not need any pouch or cable bag with me. Let me know if I'm missing any essential gear that you are using and would like to share with me. And yeah, see you next one. Bye.